Hi everyone, my name is Destiny and I am a full-time reseller on eBay and Poshmark. I sell everything clothing, men's clothing, and women's clothing. Today I'm going to jump on and do a what sold video on eBay and on Poshmark of all of my clothing. My main platform for selling is eBay, so the bulk of my items I do list everything on eBay and I also do cross list on Poshmark. So today I want to preface by saying that most of these items that I'm showing first on eBay, I was running a sale. So with my store, I kind of I have best offer, so you guys are allowed to make an offer on my items and I also pretty heavily like to run sales when items are slow or just if I'm feeling like hey I want to run a sale um, so a lot of these items I did run a 30% off sale so that's gonna be some of the items that I'm showing you that sold from last week so first item up is the brand called Alpha Lee I don't find this brand a lot but Alpha Lee is a really great men's brand this shirt was new with tags and I sold this item on my sale for $24.49 next we have Abercrombie and Fitch I love picking up Abercrombie and Fitch men's jeans and women's jeans sometimes I even pick up the women's shorts um, I don't really pick up anything like skinny it has to be something that's in style so right now things that are trending are anything wide leg or a boot cut or flare these were Abercrombie and Fitch women's slim straight jeans and I sold these on my sale for $24.49 next we have lucky brand I love selling the brand lucky brand and men's jeans I pick them up all the time you do have to pick them up for a lower buy cost I get everything um, five dollars or less at my thrift stores so if you can find and pick up lucky brand jeans for five dollars or less i would definitely pick them up they used to sell between 30 and 35 dollars for me now i can get about 25 sometimes 30. i sold these men's 361 denim blue jeans for 18 dollars and 19 cents on my sale next is the brand nike i do like picking up nike if it's something particular so i like picking up men's nike like windbreaker pants windbreaker um, pullovers or anything that's like sometimes bigger size men's sweatpants sell really well I won't pick up generally like you know basic t-shirts or anything really in women's unless it's like a cool style or something that you see like wow that's a little bit different then I will pick up Nike so this was the men's Nike Stormfit Windbreaker. I sold this on my sale for $23.09. Next is the brand Aloe. I don't find Aloe a lot near me, but I have picked it up a couple times and it's a, a good women's like athletic legging brand. So I sold these on my sale for $25.19. Next is the brand Eileen Fisher. I love selling Eileen Fisher, especially in the plus sizes, but all around Eileen Fisher is a great women's brand. They make silk pants, viscose pants, kind of like knit crepe pants so it's a great brand to pick up if you can get for a lower cost I sold these women's they were viscose like pull-on pants for $34.99 next is the brand Athleta I am very picky with Athleta these days I usually only pick up Athleta if it's something newer and you can always look up Athleta they have a style code like on the tag or the newer styles are usually printed on the inside so that's how you can tell if it's kind of newer but these were the women's Athleta Cabo linen wide leg pants which which linen and wide leg are both two things that are in right now. I sold these on my sale for $24.49. Next is a brand called Euler Bar Brown. I think that's how you pronounce it. I think it's a men's brand. I've only found this one other time before, um, but it, the comps do decently well. It did take a little while to sell, but they generally sell for a lot of money. So I sold these Euler Bar Brown um, men's shorts. Sold them on my sale for $34.99. Next is another pair of men's Lucky Brand jeans. Again, I love picking up men's Lucky Brand jeans. These are the 410 jeans, and I sold them for $20.99. Next is a major bolo shoe brand. It's called Ofos. I'm pretty sure that's how you pronounce it. I love finding this brand in the shoes. I don't find it a lot, but when I do, they never sit in my store for more than a week. Sometimes they sell overnight. So these were the Ofos like pull on recovery shoes. And I did sell these on my sale for $34.99. Next is a brand I was a little iffy about picking up, but it was new with tags and it's called Talbots. I really try to stick to only plus sizes when I'm picking up anything in Talbots because that will generally get up a little bit higher price for it. So this was a new with tags, Jinjum Talbots um, shirt and I sold it actually really quickly surprisingly I think I sold this overnight for $34.99. Okay guys this was the sale of the century for me the biggest sale I think yet that I've ever made it was a huge risk for me when I actually got it I was a little bit nervous um, but this is a really rare jacket this is called the Sandro Blue Cabo to Paris it's like a, a women's really rare pearl 
denim jacket and I paid up for this. I paid $100 for this jacket, but when I was looking up comps, there was only a couple out there. They were very rare. They were selling for like between three and like $700. So I knew that I was gonna sit on it for a while. And honestly, I've only been sitting on it. It's probably been maybe five or six months. So this was running on my sale. It was on my sale for $349 and then I had an offer for $300. So I took my offer of $300 for this jacket. Again, I knew that it could have taken way longer to sell. I did pay up for it. So I was like, let me get my money back. I was still very, very happy with this sale knowing that it was rare and all of those other factors. So this is probably my biggest sale yet and I sold this for $300 on eBay. Next we have the brand called Fabletics. I only pick up some things Fabletics in the men's section. The men's shorts and pants tend to sell really well for me. Nothing really in the women's, like not the leggings or anything like that, but I have picked up men's shorts and pants before. These were called the Fabletics. They're called the One 5 inch short and they were new with tags. I sold them on my sale for $27.99. Next we have the brand J Crew. I am a little picky with J Crew, but I like picking up J Crew with the men's jeans or any like wool cardigans or sweaters or jackets. So this was a Nua Tags J Crew men's jacket and I sold this on my sale for $34.99. Next is a brand called Tizzy. I have only found this brand a handful of times. I think it's like a women's equestrian riding brand and I've only found like their button polos. I don't know if they make pants, um, but I picked this up a couple times before. So this was a women's like horse equestrian button down shirt and I sold this for $29.99. Next is the brand again called Talbots. Again, this was a plus size, so that was the main reason that I picked it up. It was a women's like plus size plaid shirt. I do love picking up plus sizes and I'm still trying to learn like great plus size brands that sell. Um, so Talbots is a brand that I like picking up if I can get it for a cheaper price. I love selling the plus size brand Catherine's. Those are two great brands that I love picking up only in the plus sizes. So I sold this for $23.99. This is another pair of Lucky Brand jeans. These are the 410 ones. Again, I do sell a lot of Lucky Brand jeans. Again, love picking them up if I can get them for a lower price. I sold these for $25.99. Then we have Athleta again. These are the Athleta stash pocket shorts and they were camo. Anything camo is really also in right now. I don't know if that's just a trend or if it's always been like that and I'm just hopping on the trend. Um, but camo will definitely increase the value of some things. So I picked these up and I knew that they were newer as well. I sold these for $24.99. Then we have another brand that I love selling. It's called Soft Surroundings. I love selling this brand in the plus sizes, but I also do pick up some of their items if they're more unique in regular sizes as well. So this actually did not have the size tag in it. Based off my measurements, I sized it as a 1X and it was 100% silk women's like really pretty button down blouse. I sold this for $29.99. This is a brand called Chico's, which I'm very, very picky with. Really the only thing I pick up in Chico's is Chico's Travelers, their sleeky pants. Um, but I, this was a little bit different to me. It was a women's really pretty like tunic embroidered top. So some things I try to factor stack if it's something different or unique. So I sold this for $22.99. Next is a brand called Standard James Purse. This is a women's and men's brand actually. I Recently I only thought that it was a women's brand but a couple days ago I picked up something that was men's in Standard James Purse which the men's seems to actually increase the value. But I do like picking up Standard James Purse. They make shirts and sweaters and men's shorts. So I picked up this women's sweater and I sold it for $24.99. So we have my favorite brand, it's Lululemon, and this was actually personal, so this was mine. It doesn't fit me any longer, so I sold it. This is a Lululemon women's aligned tank top. And the great thing about Lululemon is I can always resell things that I don't want any longer or that don't fit me. So I sold this for $29.99. Next is Lululemon again. These are men's pants. I love selling Lululemon. These are the ABC classic pants. These sell really, really quickly for good money on both eBay and Poshmark. So I sold these men's pants for $49.99. Next is Lucky Brand Jeans. Again, they make so many different styles in these men's jeans. These were the men's 363 jeans and I sold these for $24.99. Next is a brand I only really pick up in the plus sizes or if it's linen or cashmere, but I love selling Tahari in the plus sizes. These were a really pretty 
like plus size tropical wide leg linen pants so all of those factors i knew were going to sell it not for a ton but between 20 to 30 dollars so i sold these size extra large on ebay for 23.99 next is a women's and men's outdoor brand that i really love selling this is called rei and these were the men's sahara pants they're like hiking convertible pants which sell really well i sold these for 23.99 and lastly is a women's and men's golf brand this is called jamie sadock this brand doesn't sell for a ton of money but it usually sells pretty quickly for me i sell a ton of the women's like shorts but this was actually different this was a women's really nice like black printed full zip jacket and i sold this overnight actually for 24.99 now we're gonna jump over to some sales from poshmark so first sale on poshmark was athleta again Again, I'm very picky with Athleta, but these were the Salutation Stash Pocket leggings and they were ribbed, which anything ribbed can kind of increase the value as well. So I sold these on Poshmark for $30. Next, we have the brand called Under Armour. I love picking up Under Armour in the men's shorts, pants, any of like their golf windbreakers or half zips. So these were called the Under Armour Men's Showdown Pant and I sold these for $27. Next is a brand I like picking up in anything that's different or unique as well. It's called Anthropology. Um, this was actually under Anthropology. It's called Maeve. So Anthropology makes like a bunch of different, I guess like sub brands you can call it. I don't really know like how to describe it, but Maeve is an Anthropology brand. So this was a women's really nice wide leg like jumpsuit. I sold this for $32. Next is again Lucky Brand again. So I do sell this brand on eBay and on Poshmark. These were the men's 410 athletic denim blue jeans and I sold these for $30 on Poshmark. Next is Seven for All Mankind. Nowadays I do stick to only picking up Seven for All Mankind in the men's jeans. I like picking up their jeans or their they have um, it's called Lux Performance Jeans and their pants. These I believe were women's and they were the straight leg jeans. They did sit for a long time in my store on like a really old background. So I sold these jeans for $25 on Poshmark. Next is J. Jill. I love selling this brand, especially in the plus sizes. If you find anything in J. Jill plus size, it'll sell really fast and usually for more money. These were the J. Jill Ponte Slim Leg Pants. And I sold these on Poshmark for $35. Next is the brand called, I think it's Faherty or Baker tea. I'm not exactly sure and I've never really found this brand much so I was really excited to find this. This is a really great men's brand. This is a plaid organic cotton button down shirt and I sold this really quickly on Poshmark for $38. Next is another pair of Under Armour pants. These were actually new with tags and these were called the um, match play pants and I sold these for $36. Next is a, another really great outdoor men's and women's brand. It's called Patagonia. If you find like the Patagonia sweaters or or jackets those sell really well this was called the base layer calpoline pants I believe they're like kind of like leggings almost and I sold these on Poshmark for $25 next is another brand I really really love selling if you can get it for a lower buy cost it's American Eagle I love picking up American Eagle men's jeans and I love picking up the women's jeans if it's wide leg straight boot cut flare anything that's in style so these were the women's 90s straight white American Eagle pants. I sold them on Poshmark for $26. Next is Vineyard Vines. I love picking up Vineyard Vines, um, men's and women's shorts, women's dresses. The men's performance on, they're called on the go shorts and pants sell really well. But this was like a women's pink, I think it was like a gingham. I don't know if it was a tunic like shirt or dress. I'm pretty sure it was a dress. This did take a while to sell, but I think originally I had really overpriced it. I think I had it price on Poshmark for I think it was like almost $60 so I did take an offer I sold this on Poshmark for $38 lastly is a new brand to me that I really love selling it has a great selfie rate especially if you find anything silk it's called Diane von Verstenberg these were a pair of women's silk like trouser pants and I sold these for $39 okay so that was all my sales from last week on eBay and Poshmark a lot of my sales um, were bread and butter sales again I was running a sale as well so I took some offers just trying to get things moving it has been a little bit slow for me so I love to run sales send out offers um, to get some things going again I also had that really great sale of that denim jacket so overall I'm really happy um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and some of the brands that I shared. If you like seeing content like this and you would like to see more, please like my video and you can subscribe if you would like to. And I will see you guys on the next video.